Okay, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of World Box. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to make quality maps. It's kind of simple. So, we're going to set the map size to 20 by 20. Or just 15, because that also is... 15 is also a pretty good map size. You normally you want this to... So, if you want an Earth-like map, you're going to want to set the world size here to be pretty big, alright? To be long, always a, a little bit bigger than this one. Because our map... our are, the maps are made as squares. They're made as rectangles. So you need this to be lower than this. In order to remove the islands faster, you're going to want to set this to the lowest number possible. Like, and, but for some reason, you can't click up. Okay. Let me just set this up. <laughs> okay. There you go. And then water level, you're going to set to the max. Or men. I mean, it depends. Like, both work. Well, all right. We're going to be making the world of Earth. We're going to make Earth. Because that's a good map. That's something we all know. So you can tell. Oh, wow. Look at this lag. You know you, you know Earth. You know Earth. Because you live on it. Hopefully. Well, actually, if you don't live on Earth. Hey, I'm the first one to make contact with another planet. So as you can see, if you have a lower water level, you have bigger islands. Which is good. Might not sound that good. But it allows you to remove things faster. You're going to want to use your antimatter bomb. Or, you're going to use the gray goo. The gray goo is pretty useful, look, because it automatically cleans off all of the islands. You're just going to want to scribble it everywhere. Oh, God. Like that. Like this. Like this. And then like that. Mm -hmm. So, this will clean up everything. You don't have to worry about anything left, because it will destroy it all. See? Then with that, you're gonna want to set the pot. Oh, you're gonna want to set your time scale. If you have this mod, this is an amazing mod, especially for YouTube. You can actually press C. Oh, that's the UI. Um, you can hide the UI. Isn't that awesome? Look at that. Let's see. Um, I think I can set the time. So we're not gonna use the mod for creating worlds, so you guys can see how it's played. You're gonna want to set the time scale to pretty high on with the normal stuff. So it will automatically clean out the rest of the world. So we're going to wait a while this does. So let me show, explain to you some pretty good simple things you can use. So this is the deep ocean. That's not really useful. So for making rivers, there are, two, there are only two pieces that you should use rivers with. This size brush or this size brush. These are the only two brush sizes you really should use for making rivers. Because this one's pretty small. So it's pretty good. The other one is better for making, like, thicker rivers, right? Like the Mississippi. That allows it to look better. Look at this. See? Look. Look how well it's clean. Then, whenever you're building, you do not, I repeat, you do not want these to you to place water down before you fin even finish the map. Because what happens is, it's really hard and it's very finicky for you to design, like, ocean on the edge. And add sand and beaches. But, if you leave the dirt, let me show you this. If you leave it by any ocean type, it will actually turn the dirt, and if it is not uh, grown, it will turn the dirt into sand. So you'll be able to, how do I put it? Well, it will just be able to make beaches automatically. They're not big beaches, but they're, big, they're beaches and they're pretty nice looking. Look how well this is cleaned out. It cleans it out on its own. It's an automatic cleanup. So, oh, I see, but sometimes you just need to go over it again, just, ah, that was the plague, not the great goo of destruction, mm-hmm, there we are, it's all gone. Look at this, we gotta make sure the great goo's gone, so you can be beautiful, working on your map, and then the great goo appears, and you're, and you're like, oh god, so you gotta make sure the sound is gone. Oh, there's my puppy, you can hear a little, you know, you good dog, but, I guess. I think it's almost gone, except for this one part. We can just nuke it now. I know, I know, nukes are fun. Ah. Uh, lags at your computer a little bit. Oh, see, look, it's gone. Completely destroyed and utterly gone. Look at that. Okay. But just to make sure, you want to click your bombs again. And you're gonna... like so. We're not going to design the actual Earth, but we're going to design the Asia, Europe, so... When you're designing your map, you're wanting to start with soil, because soil is a little bit easier to use than sand. So we're going to create a little bit of Asia. This is going to be not Asia, I meant Africa. So this is the Africa of our map, okay? 
the Africa, so that's what the that's what the Africa is, and we're gonna have to draw the Europe. So Europe has a nice little cove. I know it looks disgusting right now, but it's supposed to look like this for now. So that's our Asia and Europe. Okay, that's this is me erase that. But when you erase, I don't want to use this. Note how I'm not using the biggest brush. Because you don't want to use the biggest brush while you're editing, okay? That's just stupid. Don't, uh, okay, if you do use it, I'm not calling you stupid. It's just not what you should be using. You should always use a smaller one. Okay, there's our Asia, Europe, Africa map setup. Then you're going to want, this is going to, we're not going to have Greenland. Because that's not, there. I mean the Norse discovered it. I know that's, Greenland's not green, but then we're going to just try and assign America. So this is our, uh. I know it doesn't look like it, but this is what, uh, this is, we're just designing a, a kin. Like, it's supposed to kind of look like it. So you can have that kind of same theme. So, there you go. Then, instead of, like, filling it in, like that, that's not, that's not fun. You're going to want to, instead of using the circles, you're going to want to use the squares. So you can, like, click, and you can edit like this. I know the square, it doesn't seem like it would make much of a difference, but I like using the squares. Because that it's actually a little bit bigger, so you can fill up so you can fill up your land inside your territory a little bit more, and you can just edit it later. You can edit your uh, map later. See, look how pretty this is. I'm just gonna show you this. Con so I'll edit out this. All right. I'm just gonna fill in the rest of these. Hope hope you guys enjoy this. Hope you guys uh I'll I'll finish up this and then I'll I'll pop back into the next section. Alright, well, see, see how this kind of is looking better? Then with your editing bits. Now, this is kind of a slow process. So I'm only going to show you one continent, okay? We're going to show, I'll show you how to do, oh, there's some land left here, so, okay, there you go. So, you can start to see the map is forming. So, we're going to, I'll do the, we're going to do the water bit last, but I'll show you kind of how the water does work. So you probably were thinking, well, I mean, if he's using the squares, I mean, that makes no sense. Like, he's using squares. That would just make it so the corners of the world are untidy, un, like, didn't, don't look natural. Well, that's where the water comes in, because the water, you can draw better on flat lines. If you draw better on round, non-flat lines, you're, you're a god. You're a god at this, alright? Okay. And you shouldn't be watching my video for help, because that's pretty awesome. You get like five, there you go, 5,000 cool points if you can do that. Okay, so you can start to see that this kind of is starting to look like a continent. Like, it's starting to look kind of like something you would see on the map. I'll show you how to do atoll, atolls and rivers in a bit, so. There we go, there we are, look how pretty this is. Just gonna... Also, I would like to say, um, if you want boats added... Please, 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 please like the video or write in the comments saying, I want boats. I want boats, alright? I know it looks like this is going to be very quick. It's not very quick normally. It, it, so we're going to just, out, I'm going to just outline this Africa, alright? Sometimes that happens whenever you press the W, A, S, and D keys. Uh, unless you want, unless you can et find a way to use that, don't press up. I, I press the up keys. The arrow, I use W, A, S, and D. I, I don't know why, but, like, I used to be an a arrow key person until I got this, my computer. Also, guys, if you uh, want to see the games not lag as much, uh, you can uh, go to my Patreon so I can uh, eventually buy a new game. Let me uh, edit this. Let me get, ah, there we go. Buy a new computer. I'm saving up for a nice, sweet mother of all that's holy. I've only done that much? Okay, that's, that's insane. But this also allows you to smooth out your continents a bit. Okay, look at that. Look how nice this is looking. Okay, we're gonna edit that like that. See? I know, so you're probably saying, okay, that's it. That's all you have to do for the edges of the continent. Oh, no. Here's some important stuff that I haven't shown you. Oh, gosh. <laughs> that lag spike. Did you see that? Look, look at that. There's some very important things I have not shown you yet. We'll just make that a river, because I, I just edit. Look how pretty it is. Mm -hmm. That was a, totally my goal. Totally. 100%. My plan was to uh, make that little al al in alcove. 
Okay, let me just let me just cut in there. We'll add some islands to make this look a little nicer. Maybe a little peninsula. There we go. That that looks good. There's a Korea. Oh, I make Korea. That's fun. Okay, let me uh, cut in there. See, you can start to see this. I know it's. I, I'll not do. I won't show you America. The America toddler drawn toddler America. Yeah, so that's fun. And then there you go. Look, look at that. Look how fancy this is. Look at that. Look. There's a um, special tool that I love to use. I, um, also, if you want to learn a little bit more about map making, um, you can go to... Um, there's another YouTuber that's pretty awesome. His name is Nucrium. I use just... I, um, he does Rollbox videos too, and he's also really kind of quite good at making... You he also makes really nice maps. He's the one that kind of taught me from... Well, he didn't teach me. I mean, like, I watched his videos and I picked up on it. But there we go. Mm-hmm. But don't click off this. You should definitely watch my videos. I'm sorry. I'm desperate. A little bit desperate, alright? I'm sorry. Look at that. Look! Look! Okay. Oh, look how close we are. We're gonna cut that. That we're just gonna chop off that pot. That part is gone. There we go. There we go. So this... That looks nice. It, it has, like, a nice oceans and stuff like that. We're not done with the coastal. Uh, I will uh, do the coast on this one, and uh, I'll edit this out. So, uh, yeah. Uh, see you guys in a bit. All right. Well, I just finished the uh, all of that. Oh my gosh, that it drives you nuts, all right? Well, as you can kind of tell, if you look closely, you can tell that there's sand developing, which is really good. I'm gonna. Look at that. So, you think we're done? Oh, no way in f no way. So, on the coast, this is the I, this is the secret one, the one that makes you happy. So, you're going to want to set this to the big brush, all right? So, what this does, it will let watch this. It, look at the detail now. Look. It looks like an edge of a continent, doesn't it? Look at that. Yeah. So, you just do this up and down all the coast. And you guys are just going to be nuts. You can go nuts, okay? You don't have to think about it, alright? You can just, <clears throat> just go blip insane with your shape. It looks like this. Like, boom, 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 boom. Look how quick this part is. This is the easiest part. And you can hold it on to make more, like, crazy, more crazy coastlines and make it look better. To make it look, like, have a certain type. Look at that! Already, we are done with that coast. Now, we just, if you want to, you can even set it to the triangle. Oh, yeah. I, oh, wait. This is the only one that's like has a specific si set, but like, look at this. Look at that. Almost done there. And. We're done. Look at that. Look at that. That was the quickest step. Look how much detail the coasts have now. Look at that. Oh, mm, there you go. The coasts now actually look good. They look natural. Look at so. Okay, now you because our world is mostly made up of grass and not forest. So that's why you don't start with the forest because that's not natural. So when you're designing your map, let's say, look, look, okay, so let's say this area, let's say, so let's say, design this area, this, so this is how you design forest. You just draw a random shape, okay? Or if you're designing a specific planet, or specific fantasy world, you want to keep it normal. What the, okay, use this, to, what the, okay, guys, sorry about that, I don't know what that was. My computer does some weird crap, I'm, that's why I'm saving it. Okay, I don't care. I don't care about the time capsule. Look at that. Boom. That is a nice looking forest, isn't it? Look at that. Now, when you add deserts, look. Your deserts, they actually automatically spawn grass, like, stuff for them. So they're kind of weird. Like, whenever you make it an ice nightmare realm, you get trees. In the ice nightmare realm, you get 
in instead of like waiting for the grass to grow. But that's just, that's just how it works. There you go. There's our desert. We're not dumb. So this is like how you would design a desert. You can use the mess up tool to make it even better. Look at that. Look at that desert. Let's actually make it a little bigger. Let's make a. Mm -hmm. There you go. Look at this desert. It's gonna cover up most of this land right there. There's this, and then which had a big, which had a small desert here. Well, small. <laughs> Let's actually make it so it goes like that. Okay. And now I'm gonna use mess up tool to uh, fix this. Look at that. Now we're gonna make a, a small border for this continent right here. This is called the. We're gonna call that like the big, the maize, like the desert border. This prevents like people from spreading. So look. Mess up tool. This just look at that. Look how pretty that is with the vortex. The vortex makes everything good. It makes my your life better when it comes to designing maps. All right, look. Mm -hmm. There's a great border. Look at that. Oh yeah. Look, it, it messes with the shape and designs it to be better. Look at that. Ah, so nice. Oh yes. Look at that. Okay, you brought, but we're gonna add a little bit of forest here. This is gonna be a large forest. This will be a great home for the native, for the natives of this land. Okay, there we go. Look at that. And, we'll add a, and then you can just make like little patches of forest, like so. Just randomly placed throughout your world, like that. <laughs> All right, so that's like how you would make a forest. So this is gonna be now the mountains are probably one of the, my favorite things to do. So what you do, you get your hills. All right, let's build. Let's make this like a mountainous region. All right, look at that. That is your base design. We're gonna fill this in with mount with hills. All right, that's your base mountain design. Okay, to make it really nice, you add like little forests to the edge of the the mountains. Like, look at that. Look at that! Look how pretty that is! And then you get your mountain tile. Look at that! So natural, so pretty. And look at this, look. In the nature, you gotta make sure you set this to, like, a, this size. And then you just go up and down, up and down. Watch. Up and down, and then, like, they just appear in small pictures. And that just looks a little bit higher. Which adds to the detail quite a bit. But you're always... When you're designing your forest, you always want your forest to be by mountains. If that's if because that really adds to the theme, the feel of a mountain range. Look at that. Look at this. You want to add this kind of stuff first before you add rivers. Rivers are from a very very look. Look, I can even make a mountain here. Oh wait, crap, wrong one. <laughs> uh do not use that pixel. Edit this out. There we go. Look, look at that. Perfect. There we go. Let me. The hills. The hills. And also, this can be like really good starting places for your civilizations, because it you can put stamps, wood, like good stuff there. Look, you can make cool mesas things in the deserts. Look, look at this. It just fits right in, and you can add like little tiny. Like tiny particulates of forest there, and like make it so it's like a teeny tiny like oasis. Look at that! Look how pretty that is. And then let's add another mountain right here. Okay, we're gonna make all this really pretty. Let's make the hills like go up in here. And we're gonna we're gonna make a massive like land wall, right? A massive wall kind of deal, right? Cutting all the way through this land. Look at this. Look how big this wall is. Cuts into the ocean, too. Look at that! Boom! Just add, like, you can even add, like, a tiny bit of mountain there. That's, don't use the shovels. They might seem like they're useful. They're not. They're horrible. Ugh! Look how good this map is coming along. Just with adding hills, that can just add such... So much character to your build, to your build, it just, mmm. Look! Look at that! 
that. Now you. Oh, look, look at this. Now we can add like, and we can be go nuts too. Look, you can use these. Look at that. Look how nice that is. And boom. And you don't even have to have, like, look, there we go. Now, you can even set it up like this. You can have, and then you draw the hills in. And that also looks pretty well. Good look. Because you can accidentally, like, you can do little mess ups like this. And that'll just improve the, the, the map. Look at that. Look at how pretty this is. That's how you make mountains. And you can, like, duck in and, like, Cut out little chunks and look! Look at these mountains! Doesn't that look realistic? Like, so that's our, this is our major, so we're gonna actually add some forest, right? Because you know the forest would like to grow. We can make a cool oasis right here. Look, look at that. We'll just make that an oasis. We'll add like a small desert here in the desert. This desert, we're gonna, it's gonna be a very small but very hot desert. There you go, and then we're gonna add like just one big mountain here, in the center of it. Actually, we'll add, we have to have hills around it, otherwise it look kind of ugly, doesn't it? There we go. Look at that, look! Look how pretty it is! You can add a little bit more forest, look how pretty this map is getting. Okay, look at that. Look how nice it is! So we're gonna... We're gonna make a big mountain range here, right? Okay, massive, enormous mountain range. That will like split off and has like little areas like that, okay? And then we're gonna split off over there and have that. We'll just have like little spikes of mountain range. And this will just be a massive mountains, massive, massive set of mountains. Look at that. Perfect. And then we'll add some forest. Like, we could add some valleys in there. Look at that. Look at that. Add some hills over here. We can connect these. That could be like a little oasis. Oh, wow. Pretty. Look how it's coming out. We'll build a big mountain range here, too. Why we're building a mountain range here is because it just looks good. It, it just fits right there. Because, like, don't go nuts with the hill mountains. Don't. But, or do. Like, if you do, make sure to make it look nice. Like that. Look at that. Look at the mountain range. There's not many forests in the bottom zone, so we're gonna, like, dot little, little glades in there, right? Look at that. Like, little glades. And then little forests. And we'll use a mess up tool to make it make it look like it's just like little plots of forest. Look at that. Perfect. Now, look how the map is going. We're gonna now, I'll, pa I'll tell you, I'll, I'll edit this out, but I mean, you're, I'm gonna do all the little hill bits. So I just did, oh, I forgot. I'm sorry. That's stupid. I can't believe I forgot that mountain. So this, this is the, this is a really good looking map. I, I, I would say myself. So we got the, like, a Mediterranean deal here. We've got a Florida here. We're gonna, soon, they're actually coming up with a swamp update, so we're gonna have the Florida men there eventually. I can't wait to see swamps. But yeah, look at that. Look how pretty this is. Now, this, this is the most important part. And we're going to save it for next time. Hope you guys enjoy this new, this new tutorial.